Shut up. Shut up. I, you're, you're getting ready to type. Shut up. Shut up. You're, you're typing. Shut up. We're not done. Twitter time. Now you can type. Now you can type. Chad, this is a pro Squitter stream. This is the number one Squitter fan chant. We're going to be taking your Squitter messages. We're going to be taking your, your favorite Squitter moments. We're going to be counting down the top 10 Squitter moments. Answering your, your burning Squitter questions. And just kind of, you know, celebrating a hero. America's hero, Squitter. So please, you know, only positive Squitter messages. Please don't bring up the controversy. Don't go to the Wikipedia and read up on it and come back. Oh, <laughs> what, um, what, what do you think Squitter really did it? I will not be speaking on that tonight. That is up to the um, Royal Court of London, England to decide. That is not up to me to decide. They will prove, uh, you know, who is and isn't guilty and where the uh, ducks lay their eggs. Or in this case, where the spiders spin their webs. Um, I will not be speaking on those, uh, uh, let's call them allegations against Squitter. I won't be speaking on it. I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of speaking. If you want to hear my thoughts on it, go to my Twitter. I just put out a tweet today about it. Um, that's we'll address the Squitter stuff there. I will not be bringing Squitter, you know, problems into this. This is a pro Squitter stream. We're going to show our, show our support for Squitter and Squitter's friends. Um, we are going to just kind of, you know, experience the Squitter lifestyle. We're going to experience the highs and lows of Squitter and just kind of talk about all the good times with Squitter. All the, you know, uh, all the good times. You know, it's it's good to remember the good times, especially in Squitter's case when he's facing the death penalty. So we're just kind of going to remember the good times. We're going to talk about how much Squitter means to us and, and just kind of our favorite Squitter moments and and maybe we'll be, you know, we'll do a Squitter impression later. And we'll just, we'll just have a, a great time. Because it's what Squitter would have wanted, you know. I haven't been able to talk to him um, since he was taken into custody. I haven't been able to speak to him. But if I was able to tell him that this stream was going, I'm sure he would be excited. I'm sure he would say, you know, let's do it. Let's let's bring this one home for the for the whole Squitter squad. Let's uh I, you know famous we all remember the famous Squitter quote. Let's let's kick some ass. Let's let's kick some some goddamn ass. And that's what we're gonna do here tonight. We're gonna kick some ass in honor of Squitter. We're gonna remember you know the uh just kind of the the power he had. And the things he did with that. And the joy that he brought to so many. Uh, you know. And, uh... Yes, he had demons. We all do. And I'm tired of pretending I don't. So, I'm standing with Squitter. And I think it's time I act on my demons. I think it's time, you know, I... Uh, I've I've kind of modeled my whole life around Squitter, right? Like I've I've followed his lead since I was a young lad playing Donkey Kong Country 2. And I've kind of, you know, modeled how how I act and how I dress and 
and it just my whole life has really been shaped by Squitter. And now I'm seeing, you know, he maybe had some demons and he figured, you know what, let's get these out of my system. And now he's being, um, he's being persecuted for that. And I don't, I, I'm not going to speak on it. I'm not going to speak on it, but I will say, I think it's time I act on my demons and, you know, we get down to the nitty gritty. We get down to what really matters and we, um, you know, we just, uh, live like Squitterwood. We just, you know, do what we got to do. And again, in the immortal words of Squitter, um, shoot some web, kick some ass. And that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. You know, if he has to go away for a while, he's already been away for three months now. If he, you know, continues to be held in custody, if the courts, uh, I think wrongfully, not to get into it too much, but don't find him innocent, you know, we'll hold down the fort for him. We'll hold down, hold down the squitter fort. Um, the Squitter Sanctuary will will kind of keep the legacy of Squitter going regardless of what happens. If they if they decide, you know, that's it. If they decide, you know, we're tired of this. This is the third time. You're done. Well, then, you know, I say uh, not many have lived a life as good as Squitter. And we'll... we'll We'll keep the fort down until the boss comes back. You know, we'll we'll carry on the legacy because it's what the boss would have wanted. So, if uh, if you're a squitter head, if you're with me, if you're a big fan of the squitter, if you if you wake up every morning like I do and say, you know what, another day, another way to be just like squitter, then this is the sh stream for you. This is the chant for you. We're, we've got um, people from all over the world are going to be here chanting tonight. We got people from all over the world. Any, you know, gender, race, creed, you know, location, financial situation. Uh, we'll be here chanting tonight about Squitter and just kind of the Squitter, the Squitter universe, the Squitter universe. Um, the Squitterverse into the Squitterverse is what we were, you know, a few just a few uh, months ago, a year ago, even we're, you know, we were talking about that. We were saying, you know, it would be funny if they put Squitter into that new Spider Verse movie, and they didn't, and they didn't, and I think it was a legal thing, um, uh, more so copyright than the than the other legal stuff going on with Squitter. So, you know, that didn't happen, but we were all saying, you know, send me into the Squitterverse, you know, squid, you know, Squitterize me, Captain, send me into the Squitterverse, I'm ready to kind of enjoy all the fruits that life as a Squitter fan give us, I'm ready to, um, you know, sing his praises high on the heavens, and I'm and I'm ready to um, you know dive into such a complicated uh, person, such a complicated character, and such a complicated um, a man, such a squitter. I think there's a lot to love. I think there's a you know several things you could criticize if you would like to. But I think that's what makes Squitter so unique and so important is that he isn't you know he's he's not Rambi. You know, he's not, uh, <laughs> you know, fake. Sorry. Sorry to the Rambi heads, but let's be honest. Uh, you know, Rambi, I'm sorry, has never given me a general vibe. I like Rambi well enough, but there's a real lack of genuineness to Rambi. Twitter, on the other hand, I think you can say from the get-go, has always been genuine, has always kind of been himself, you know? Um, there's not a lot of animal buddies who wear clothes, let alone, uh, you know, some dope shoes, 
And a lot of people want to be haters. A lot of people say, you know, ah, oh, he's an animal. He shouldn't wear clothes. One, I think that's fucked up to say that. I'm sorry, but I. That, why would you say that? It's Donkey Kong Country. You ever seen Donkey Kong? Look right there. Look right there, Ty. Look right there, Ty. Oh, you ever seen Diddy Kong? Look right there, hat and shirt. Animals can wear clothes in the Donkey Kong universe, and I'm tired of pretending they can't. And uh, if Squitter wants to wear shoes, let him. If Rambi doesn't want to wear clothes, no one uh, stopped Rambi. No one stopped in guard. No one stopped Squawks. No one stopped um, the fucking snake guy. What's his name? Uh, uh, Steve. Steve-o. No one stopped him. So why are we trying to stop Squitter from wearing shoes? I don't know. Quite frankly, I think it's just another piece of the, um, the whole circus, the whole media circus that has built, been built up around Squitter, I think. It's a lot of, uh, do this, don't do that, don't do that, do this. A lot of, um, you know, what I say goes and where I go, you say, you know, I say jump, you say how high. I say squitter, you say, how, how do we kill him? And I think it's a lot of people trying to kind of push this narrative about squitter and, and on squitter. I think it's a lot of lies. I think it's a, there's a lot of falsities. I think there's a lot of nitpicking. And I think it's all there to be weaponized against squitter. I really do. And I didn't want to get into this. And I won't get into this. But I just think, you know, where was squitter... During Donkey Kong Country Returns and Tropical Freeze. Nowhere. Why? You know who was there? Rambi. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. A lot to think about there. I'm not saying, uh, you know, we've solved the case. I'm just saying, you know, draw your own conclusions. Put the pieces, the pieces to the puzzles and see what you get. And I'm tired of pretending that Rambi, sorry to say this, but is is clean, is a clean, wholesome uh, entity. I think all of the animal buddies kind of carry an air of sadness. I think all of the animal buddies had demons. I mean, God, for God's sake, look at uh, uh, um, espresso. You ever wonder why uh, espresso's named that? It's an ostrich. Why is it named after coffee? Hmm. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe an addiction to something that uh, will uh, get you on. Maybe something that gets your heart rate up. Hmm. Why not name the bird uh, coffee? Well, you know. Let's just say um, espresso likes to express oh, a love for cocaine. And I don't want to have to say that, but I think, you know, I've been running in the Squitter circle for a while. I've, you know, for many years have kind of been the most vocal Squitter supporter. Some would say I am the number one Squitter fan on the internet. Some would say, some would be right, because I am. And you hear things, things come through, you know, pardon the pun, but the vine, the, you know, you hear it swinging on a vine. And sometimes you hear, you know, Rambi, uh, you know, maybe has a warrant out for their arrest in seven different states. Maybe you hear that. Maybe you hear espresso. Maybe, you know, likes to uh, snoot a toot a little bit too much. Maybe you hear that. And maybe you hear the opposite of that. You know, so you can always, the rumors. Here's the thing people don't understand by rumors. It goes both ways. You can hear bad, but you can hear good. And maybe you hear some good rumors about Squitter. You know, maybe you hear that uh, just because the Wikipedia page says that doesn't mean it's truthful. People lie on Wikipedia all the time. Okay, look up. Um, look up. Uh, look up the queen. A lot of stuff on there. 
that, uh, you know, where's the sources? All I'm saying is, I think there's a targeted media campaign against Squitter, against this, against Squitter Nation, the Squitter Squad, and I am not gonna just sit around and accept that. I am, I'm, you know, I bought, I bought the shirt, you know, on the on the back. We got Squitter to show my support. I got my my rareware hat that I wear every day. That's a, just a daily show of support for Squitter. We're going to be playing uh, Squitter Spider Quest for a little bit here. This is just kind of a pro Squitter stream. We're going to get people, you know, kind of remembering why they love Squitter. Why, you know, Squitter Mania hit in 1995. You guys remember people were clamoring more Squitter, more Squitter. Give us a Squitter game. No, no more. Don't fucking put Kitty Kong in here. Give us Squitter. And Rare said we would love to, but he won't play fair, won't play contracts. Squitter wouldn't take a pay cut, you know, and they, they, they flipped that all around. They made that whole, you know, there was the book about it. There was all this stuff. Oh, Squitter, you know, Squitter won't come, you know, won't take a pay cut. Oh, Squitter wants, you know, equal pay for all of the animal buddies, except for him. Well, you know, once more equal pay for the animal buddies, you know, oh, uh, yeah, Squitter won't come in to, to do it because, oh, he's got a drug problem and a drinking problem and, you know, he's fighting with the executives. There was all these uh, stories made up about Squitter. And, and yet when you talk to people, when you go, well, did you ever meet Squitter? Were you, did you ever, you know, spend time with Squitter? All they say is, you know, Squitter, nice guy. Good, you know, great personality, uh, fun at parties. You know, people just only have nice things to say about Squitter. And I think that really shows how much this is kind of the, the media lying about what's going on with Squitter. I think this show, I, I mean, do your own research, draw your own conclusions. But I really do think this shows how far the media is willing to go to be Squitter. Squitter. I just think... You know, I, I personally have never met Squitter. Um, I personally have never really had any correspondence, you know, letters and tweets and emails and everything. Never really got responded, but you can tell with the way that he, you know, poses and and with the way that he, he acts and, and just kind of what he brings to the table that there's a good soul there. Maybe some demons, definitely some demons, but we all got those. But there's a good soul there, and I think... Um, I think we the people need to come together and we need to just support Squitter. I just think now's the time, you know, just got this shirt in, just got um, a real hanker into play Donkey Kong Country 2. I think now's the time that we should all just kind of come together and we should just say, you know, thank you, Squitter. And let's let's show the people what Squitter is all about. Thank you. Anyways. <laughs> uh, is Squ I'm getting reports. Uh, seeing reports, uh, Squawks the bird was found uh, shot dead in Miami. That's not good. That's not, if they're willing to take down Squawks, they're willing to take down Squitter. I think we, I think we really need to drum up that support for Squitter tonight. I think we really, this, this has gone from a, uh, you know, pro Squitter stream to a let's save Squitter's life stream. And that's, you know, you don't get the opportunity to do something that important all the time. So remember tonight, guys, if you were here this is uh this is gonna go down the history books as the number one you were here for the number one most positive squitter stream ever ever who who could say they like squitter more than me uh uh the completionist okay um yeah hey uh 
Let's just say uh, Squitter was never on one of those charity streams, but you know who was? Rambi. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Rambi the Rhino and the Completionist. Hmm. I'm going, I don't want to make any accusations here, but connect the pieces. Draw the lines to the dots. Dots the lines. Lines. Li My point is... If you think Squitter is bad... How would you feel if I said the rest of the animal bodies were way worse? Would you feel good? Because that's, that's fucked up if you would. I'm not saying that the rest of the animal bodies are worse. I'm just saying, what if? Think about this. Why is the the swordfish named Escargo? He isn't. He's named in guard. You just failed. If you sat there for a minute and went, why did he name that? You just failed. That was a trick question. Why is the swordfish named on guard? Well, because uh, he's a swordfish. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Have you ever thought it's because he, there he, there was blood on his fins? Have you ever thought maybe he's called in guard because it's the last thing he says before killing people in cold blood at a bar fight? Hmm. Interesting. Many, much to think about. Many things to con to contemplate. Much to ponder. Let me ask you another question. Ratley, the rattlesnake. Why do they call him that? Why do they call him Ratley? Oh, because he's a rattlesnake. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. You ever think it's because he's a fucking rat? You ever think it's because he, uh, maybe, uh, has too big of a mouth? Maybe he's a little bit too talkative. Hmm. 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 A lot to think about there. Hmm. Hmm. Need I say less, shall I say more? Thank you. I need to show you this image. Uh, if there are any children in the chat, first of all, leave. But um, also, you close your eyes. You don't want to see this. Look at this. Look at this. And th I'm not going to be able to speak on this much without putting myself and Squitter in danger. But look at this image and think about it. Hmm. I've said too much. I've said nothing. And yet I've said too much. You know, words speak a thousand pictures and to each their own. But I think if you can look at what they're saying about Twitter in the media and on Twitter and on Facebook, I think if you can look at what they're saying about Twitter. And not find any contradictions. If you can look at all that and think to yourself, well, this seems above board. Why would they arrest an innocent man? Hmm. If you can think those things. Hmm. I don't want to, um, you know, I'd rather make a friend than an enemy. 
I'd rather shake a hand than slap a face. Um. But if you look at what's being said about Squitter and you think to yourself, well, they wouldn't, the police wouldn't make a mistake here. Um, sorry if this is hard. You're fucking stupid. You are a fucking idiot. If you can think to yourself, oh, well, you know, you know, why would, uh, why would Ramby the Rhino lie about, uh, Ramby the Rhino, you know, wouldn't lie about what happened? They would, uh, they would tell the truth. Interesting. July 17th, 1996. Look that up. Look up Ramby the Rhino, July 17th, 1996. I'll leave it at that. I won't say anymore, but let's just say, um, you know, history repeats itself, and much like the first two times that Squitter was taken into police custody, um, I think the truth will prevail. I think, uh, you know, well, quite frankly, I think the second time where it was a hung jury is a little, okay, yeah, all right. You know, they're just, he's innocent, but they're trying to say, you know, come back again some other day. Bullshit. I think if you look at the evidence, I think you'll understand that the truth is out there and you, pardon the pun, <laughs> you can't fall into the web of lies. You know, you can't, you know, care, the, the web of lies is, web, the web you can go on the web and find the truth to the web of lies that has been carefully crafted by, um, you know, the Arizona district attorney, um, the Arizona district attorney's office, um, uh, uh, judge, judge, uh, what's his, uh, judge Crunthers, judge Crunthers. I think you can see, you know, where the, the holes in the web are. I think you can, if you're smart, you know, people, listen, a per, to quote Squitter, a person is smart, people are stupid. And I think if you look at what's happening to, to Squitter right now in the news and, and in, in the, the legal system, I think you can really see kind of where the holes in the web are. I think you can really see um the truths and the lies and the people therein and why the most well bit built house why the nicest looking house isn't the most well built house you know what i mean i think you can see you know the truth is just uh just a piece of the puzzle and the the people of the world can see many things and they can know many truths and they can know that the truth is just um is just within and if you reach within and you reach without if you take what's inside and you put it out there there will be people out there who value it and can see the truth in your truth and there are people who will see your truth and say that's lies, that you're lying. And I think that the people who see a truth and say that's a lie, I just think that you're you're fucking stupid. I think I think you're a fucking moron. I think if you look at the decades of evidence, Squitter the Spider was not there December 19th. He was not there. He was not in Arizona. One. And I think you can see two. Ramby the Rhino is a fucking fraud. Is a fucking liar fraud. And I'm tired of this goddamn piece of shit. Running Squitter the Spider's name. Through the fucking mud. Through their own fucking rhyme, rhino shit. To try and pass up, oh, well, you know, not all the animal buddies can be as wholesome as me. Shut the fuck up and die. Shut the fuck up. 
and quite frankly, three, I think you're going to get a good glimpse. I think when all this is said and done, I think when Squitter the Spider is cleared of all charges, I think when the Arizona District Attorney's Office gets sued properly by the correct people, I think when the Squitter the Spider legal team reaches out and sends the proper paperwork and the proper lawsuits to the, the uh, Arizona District Attorney's Office, uh, quite frankly, I think you're going to see truth in a new light. I think you're going to see truth through a new lens. I think you're going to see, you know, it's a lot like going from a fisheye to a wide angle you know you're gonna see things through a new lens and a new way of viewing it and you're gonna see more you're gonna see more truth than you've ever seen before and you're gonna see more power to that truth than ever before and i think it's really gonna bring home how much squid of the spider's life has been uh ruined by the media controlled by the media slandered by the media i think you're gonna see a lot of things that are gonna make you you know rethink who you trust and um all I ask is you keep an open mind. Um, all I ask is that you keep, you know, an open, um, open uh, sense of consciousness. Uh, I hope you keep an open uh, zone of interest at at what kind of what's going on and where the truth tellers are. And I hope that you kind of can see that that what has been uh, started decades ago i mean if you go back you go back to 95 96 you go back to 95 96 you can kind of see the ball starting to roll on this where squitter was this really beloved figure you know squitter mania was running wild people loved squitter and then suddenly opinions started shifting a little bit i and and i think you if you go back to those things and you view them through through this new lens this new open eyes this new open lens i think you're really gonna see kind of that the um, the lies have always been been um, forth telling, the lies have always kind of been two sided from the top and from the bottom, and they've all just kind of comp tried to compound on Squitter. And I think it's time that we get past that. I think it's time that the real truths get out there. I think it's time that um, you know Squitter has his name cleared. I really do. Um, and I hope Squitter knows that I. Again, I have tried to reach out in several different ways. I've tried the mailing address, and I've I've tried um, calling his lawyer team, and I've I've tried um, you know just seeing if I can uh, have have visitation at like the state penitentiary. I've tried, and they've denied me on all fronts, and that's understandable. You know, it's a it's a difficult time, and I'm sure Squitter is getting a lot of visitors already. I'm sure Squitter is getting a lot of messages of support already. But it wouldn't be nice if I could get through to Squitter. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I just hope Squitter knows that there are a lot of people out there rooting for him. I hope Squitter knows that the uh, the people are with him. And I hope Squitter knows um, that we're really, you know, counting on him to, you know, maybe not... Um, Hop over the desk at the judge again. I think that was not his smartest move. I get the frustration, but that was um, probably not a great move on his part. Um, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time trying to get people to forget that that happened. It was, it was hard because even though he's innocent. I think when you lunge at the judge like that, even though it was from an understandable place of frustration and fear, people see that as an attack on the judge. And it really wasn't. It was more just a, a way for Squitter the Spider to vent and... Um, you know, I, I think people need to be more empathetic of that and understand that um, it came from a place of genuine trauma and pain. But people don't want to hear that. They see someone, you know, hop at a judge and they say, you know, that was a that was a criminal attack. There was an intent to uh, hurt. And I don't think that's true. I think if you know Squitter like I do, 
you know that that wasn't his intent. Uh, his intent was purely, um, you know, just to vent. Just to let off some steam. Yo, who wants their dick sucks? Okay, this is not the time for that. This is, this is, this is, this is, don't play that again. Um, I think if you, if you know Squitter like I know Squitter, you know Squitter is scared right now. You know, he is, uh, he's got a genuine soul, a gentle soul. And I think if you look at the, 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 the pain in Squitter's eyes. Do we have a recent picture of Squitter? Um, hold on. Let me pull from my Squitter database. Let's bring up a recent picture of Squitter real quick. Because I think a lot of people don't know. A lot of people in their heads are thinking, oh, uh, you know, Squitter, that same, uh, you know, happy, hunky-dory self. I don't think a lot of people know... Um just the kind of shape squitter is in right now wait don't i have a picture yeah there we go so this is from, uh, this picture is dated, uh, uh, February 4th, 2024. This is the most recent picture of Squitter, the spider. You can kind of see there the pain in Squitter's eyes. And I think, you know, if you're a human, if you're a human fucking being, you can understand, you know, someone who's going through so much trauma and, um, so much pain at the hands of a really slanderous media cycle i think when you look at him you can really see that pain and you can understand you know why he would have the need to vent why he would have the need to it, 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 it was a vent it was venting to to get that trauma out of the out of squitter's soul out of the Some people are so fucking inhuman. Some people are so fucking ruthless and inhuman that when they see a poor, defenseless, traumatized celebrity, when they see someone who was a hero to so many, they don't see, well, how can I help? What can I do to help them? They just see prey. They just see, how do I make money on this? And I think that could be said for the media, one. I think that could be said for the government, two. I think that could be said about Rambi the fucking rhino. And I'm tired of this shit. And so that's why we're playing Squitter Spider Quest tonight. We're gonna just, uh, you know, take our hats off. Tip of the hat to Squitter. And, uh, you know, we're going to send, I'm going to send this VOD to Squitter's legal team and we're going to hope that they, um, kind of get it and they show Squitter, show Squitter the support that we all have and show Squitter the power in the people and the hands, you know, Squitter's, Squitter's got eight feet, hands, legs. Scooter doesn't have any hands. Homeboy's just got all feet, doesn't he? Alright, then I don't know if the we're all gonna hold hands and cross the nation. I don't know if that analogy is gonna work. We're gonna use our feet. Um, what can you do with feet? We're gonna wrap our feet together. Across the nation virtually here tonight. We got people all over the world here tonight. Who are here in support of Squitter. We're going to remember the good times. We're going to um, not talk about the bad times. I don't want to get in. Um, maybe it's a little too late for that. But we're going to show Squitter our support. And we're going to stay Squitter strong. Thank you. Let's play Squitter Spider Quest. Hi, Chan. How's everyone doing? 
Who here is ready to show their love and support for the, the one and only Squitter? Any negative Squitter comments will get you perma banned tonight. Please keep that in mind. If you have, um, even if you're trying to be funny, even if you're trying to be cute, uh, you know, this chat has been bombarded by a lot of Squitter haters. A little, a lot of squitter liars tonight, and quite frankly, the auto mod is not going to be able to tell the difference. So if you're going to say anything negative about squitter, um, f just fucking don't, or you're going to get, you're going to get perma brand. Thank you. Let's play squitter spider quest. The number one, this is the number one, check the stats. This is the number one pro squitter stream on Twitch. We're going to be playing through Squitter Spider Quest tonight. Talking about our favorite squitter moments. The highs and lows of squitter. Just the highs. None of the lows. And just remembering all the good times we've had with squitter. So chat, go ahead. What's your favorite Squitter moment? Don't, do not bring anything up for 2002. That was a bad year for Squitter. Don't, even if you're trying to be cute, even if you're trying to be genuine, don't fucking bring up 2002. That will be a permanent ban. Oh, okay. Squitter can only take one hit. That makes sense. That, that does check out. He is uh, kind of just one spider, isn't he? That's right. We'll just farm banana coins. Fuck it. <laughs> Scared to talk? Listen, you can talk. You just can't say anything negative about Squitter. Or talk about anything that happened to him in 2002. If you have a if you've got a pro Squitter moment, please share it. If you've got a, a Squitter memory, please share it. Can Squitter jump on them? No. Okay. Okay, Squitter can only shoot. Nope, I almost did it. I almost did it. <laughs> it's going to make this like really hard later on. That's fine. So I will say my favorite Squitter moment, and there are a lot of them. I think I've, I've seen pretty much every Squitter interview. Oh, we do get a second hit for Squitter. Um, I would say my favorite Squitter moment is probably when he was on Leno. You guys remember that? The classic, classic Squitter moment where he's on Leno and, uh, you know, talking about, you know, what's going on with Donkey Kong Country 3, you know, what's with Kitty Kong, what's going on there. And he says, I don't know if you remember this, but he says to Jay, he says, Kitty Kong, you know, if, I, if, uh, if I wanted a kid on set, I'd bring one of my own. And, uh, you know, not a lot of people laughed at that, but I did. And um, I think that was kind of the start of me becoming a lifelong squitter head. Of course, we all remember the classic, uh, you know, all, all the classic... You know, beautiful moments between Squitter and his kids. Um, there was uh, the, uh, well, the time that he taught his kids to drive. That was cool. Uh, you know, the 
police weren't super receptive to that one, but I mean, what the fuck do they know, all right? Um, what's another? What's just like a kind of a classic squitter moment? We all remember when he was on uh, Help, I'm a Celebrity, right? That was a classic one. And uh, was immediately voted out. Was the first person um, er just unanimously voted out by the entire house. So that was... Um, you know, it was kind of a bummer because I wanted to see more Squitter. I was hoping there would just be more of him. And he kind of only got to do, like, that first episode. Um, didn't even get much, like, run time in that episode. What the... F who the fuck is this? What the hell is this? That was... That was disgusting. I don't want to see that anymore. Um, you know, it was fucked up for... For Squitter to immediately get voted out. But... Um, you know, it was at least kind of fun that he got to be on the show at all. It was fun that he got to be in a show. Um, so that was cool. That was a good, that was a good moment. Can I even do this with Squitter? <laughs> I mean, what am I saying? Squitter can do anything, but... Uh, um, okay, that cannot be done with Squitter. That's fine. I do have to, uh, I don't know. It must have been interesting to design levels around squitter's power because you could just um you know elevate your ass away you could just web up and it must have been hard to figure out like okay well how do we um how do we let the player still feel you know not gated in while also keeping them from just bypassing the whole level you know it's like the kirby issue where Kirby could just like fly over levels and it's a like a discussion of well how do you make how do you make that power not feel restrictive while also restricting it the answer is I don't know I'm not a game designer I'm just a Squitter fan Uh, oh, I can do this easy. Watch this. This is going to be the easiest one, honestly. Holy shit. This should just let you bring Squitter into the actual bonus. This should have been... This should be... Uh, I, you know, I love Donkey Kong Country too. Some would even say it's... It's... Uh, probably my second favorite game of all time. This is a better. This is a better version. I'm just going to say it. You fixed all the problems with that game. Uh, no, uh... Rolling. No jumping on enemies. You get to shoot. You know, like, this is the better version. Oh, there we go. Am I wrong? Is this going to be Squitter? No, 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 no. I get it. Oops. Stop. Stop. No, I don't. Don't tell me the bonuses. I don't care. I wanted to see if Squitter would show up during that, but doesn't because Squitter gets summoned at the beginning of the level. It's very clever. That's a very clever... Did I just choose the same level? Yep.
Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, it kinda is. Hold on. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> This is the closest we're ever going to get to a mod for this game that gives Diddy Kong a gun. So even if you're not a big squitter head, you got to appreciate that. It is funny though with DK64 where they, they literally did just go, ah, fucking, I don't know, give them guns. And you know who wasn't in that game? Actually, I gotta fact check this because I've never. Um, I have played DK64 and never finished it. I'm gonna bet Squitter the Spider is not in Donkey Kong 64. No, he's in DKC2, Donkey Kong Land 2, DKC3, and Donkey Kong Land 3. Wow, history. Is there, can we get Squitter lore? Oh, Donkey Kong Country 3, he could jump on enemies? Fuck, man. I got to play Donkey Kong Country 3. <laughs> Isn't it? I don't know. There's something like really sad to me. Uh, that like Donkey Kong Country 1, a top 20 game. Donkey Kong Country 2, my second favorite game of all time. Donkey Kong Country 3, never played it. Never touched it. That's not true. I've touched it. I own it. Never played it. How do I do that? I just, I don't want to not like it. Like that game has a very uh, mixed, I feel like, uh, reception. People either, you know, think it's pretty good or fucking hate Donkey Kong Country 3. And I don't want to hate a Donkey Kong Country game. I love one and two so much. I don't want to play one that I won't like as much. But I guess that's kind of a limiting mentality, isn't it? I don't know. I've just never really heard anything good about DKC3. I've always just heard uh, it all right compared to DKC1 and 2. Yeah, it all right. I've never heard someone be like, oh, like this part's really great. This part's really great. It's always just been, eh, hey, it all right. And I don't want to play it all right. You know, I want to play good. Uh, I, yeah, I can't go up with whatever. If anyone can 100% this, I will admit they are a bigger squitter head than I am. What is that noise when he shoots web? What is that noise supposed to be? I've never thought about this before. Hold on. Listen to this. What is that noise supposed to be? Is that just him screaming in pain? Just pure agony? I don't know. If only Squitter was here with us now, we could ask him. What was that? Why was I able to do that? 
That was weird. <laughs> Easy. Damn, I'm good. Uh, can squitters swim? Many are asking. Uh, no, squitter cannot swim. Which will make this very interesting. How the hell are you gonna do some of the later levels? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> well, fuck, we're just gonna we're just gonna have to wing it. We're just gonna have to believe in Squitter and wing it. What kind of shoes do you think Squitter wears? You think those are like Jordans? They kind of look like bootleg orange Jordans. Chad, how are you doing tonight? How's everyone doing tonight? It's Monday. We got a week of streaming ahead of us. We got good shit. I had a I had a pretty bad weekend, to be honest with you. A pretty rough weekend, man. I had a migraine so bad yesterday, I threw up. Miserable, man. Bad times, man. But it doesn't matter. I'm here now with Squitter. That's all that matters. This shirt. So I got this shirt on Instagram from uh, a, a bootleg. I've been calling them bootleg boutiques. I don't know if that's really what you can call them, but really dope bootlegger uh, by the name of One Week Rentals. And uh, I I took it out of the packaging. I got it yesterday. Took it out. And was like, oh, uh, this looks really good. And then put it on. I was like, oh, no. Not only does it look good. Oh, it feels good. Oh, no. <laughs> it's really damn comfortable. So uh, this is probably going to be my new, like, favorite shirt. Combine my two loves. Donkey Kong Country 2 and Comfort. This is not a uh, sponsor. I'm I'm telling you this because I genuinely really like the shirt. I'm not telling you this because uh, I'm getting that paycheck, that Squitter uh, paycheck. Oh, he died. Cool. I I would really like to try and hundred percent this game sometime. Not uh the scooter version, but actual DKC two. I've never hundred percent. I don't even think like I've beaten it like three times, but there's all those special stages. Um, there's all the like. Was it the is it the lost world or lost land or something like that? I've never done all of those, I don't think. Because one, they're super hard, but also you need like all of that of the banana coins and the Kong coins and all of that to be able to unlock all of that. And it's just insanely hard.
I was surprised when I tweeted out that the stream was live. I was uh, surprised that there was even a Squitter gif on like Twitter. <laughs> I really did not think there was going to be any Squitter. <laughs> That's just how fucked up the media has been treating him. But there was. There was one. There was one singular gif of Diddy Kong riding Squitter. So I'll take it. Or no, it was Dixie, wasn't it? I'm like immensely, uh, uh, how do I want to put this? The brains in the, oh, wow. The holes in my brain are fucking massive today, man. I think because I was just like, I had such a bad migraine yesterday. It like really cooked my brain. I want to say it's that, but also... Could just be the holes got bigger. Can I kill? Okay. I don't usually get migraines. Which sucks. <laughs> so it extra sucks when I do, you know? And it happened right as I finished up grinding in Final Fantasy 14. So figure that one out. What are they putting in that game that causes you uh, brain bleed when you stop playing? Hmm. Much, much to consider. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, hey, this guy kind of knows where some of these banana coins are. Hey, this guy maybe knows a thing or two about this game. One, you're right. But two, you're extra right about the banana coins because I um, became obsessed with collecting them because you need them to save the video game. And um, I always... End of this game is very hard. And so I always kind of save scum a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I got, I do a banana coin grind and then do a little bit of save scumming. Do I want to? Nope. Nope. That's, that's an L. That's a big L. That's a big L. That's a tremendous L. Fuck it. Let's do this the most boring way possible. Let's get back up there the most boring way. Just because we can. Just because we can throw a little cheese in it. What are spider webs made out of? That's a good question. What what is in a spider web? Can you eat spider webs? Is there new <laughs> Is there nutritional value in spider webs? I don't know what spider webs are made out of. Hold on. What are spider webs made of? Silk. Okay. Can you eat spider webs? Uh, it's not tasty, but it's not toxic in any way, shape, or form. Mmm. There may even be tiny insects stuck there, further adding to your protein intake. Mmm. Zero calorie spaghetti. Mmm. <laughs> Dude, I want a big plate. I'm going to Olive Garden. I'm ordering a big ass plate of spider webs in honor of my boy Squitter. Give me those fucking breadsticks and a big plate of good old spider webs. Can I shoot down? Yes, I can.
Wait, can I shoot up? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. I don't know if I've ever done that before. First time on stream. Easy. Oh. That's a little broken. That's fine. That's fine. Squitter was definitely supposed to be in this level. No Squitter? Oh my god. You can't even fight the boss of Squitter? Literally 1984. Get off him. I don't know why I thought to do that. Man who's beaten game three times can't even beat first boss. Sad day. Oh, I should have grabbed whatever. Fucking dead. Fucking dead. Now, if only Squitter was there. I wonder if any of these stages are going to be, like, actually unbeatable. I don't think so. I don't know how they could be, but... Only one way to find out. Oh, God. Hey, here's the thing you're going to hear me say a lot about Donkey Kong Country, too. Listen to that music. Is this the greatest game soundtrack of all time? Yes. Next question. Thank you. No one can name one better. I'm not even doing a bit. I can't think of a game soundtrack that I like more than this one. Like, there's probably ones that are more, like, important. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. This one's the best. Thank you. Thanks for coming. This is the best one. Fuck. This is going to be, okay, this is going to be hard. It won't be too hard. I just got to shoot early. This is, uh, you know, I've, I've never gotten the opportunity to play DKC2 on stream. This is, uh, this is gaming, baby. Oh, I can't shoot. There we go. There we go, I got him. I think you'd be hard pressed to find a video game better than this one. Funny, because I see people go like, uh, like, yeah, the Donkey Kong Country games, you can really tell are like Euro platformers. Now, there are some great Euro platformers, but there are also some pretty bad ones, right? I don't see that. All the hallmarks of a Euro platformer, I don't think are evident in the Donkey Kong Country games.
Like the jumps aren't loady. Uh, you don't have to like go collect a key to finish the level. Like all of the things that people complain about with Euro platformers aren't in these games. I don't get that criticism that these are just glorified Euro platformers. Like they're they're really not. Like it's it's fine to not like these games, but that's such a weird criticism. Other than, you know, these are platformers. I I I mean Rare's a European company. So like yeah, but they don't have those hallmarks of, of Euro platformers that people complain about. I don't know. It's almost like, now hear me out on this. People online will just say buzzwords to complain about things they don't like. Uh, it's almost like that's a possibility. Same bonus I just did. No. No, no, no. I want to say there's something where that does happen. Like, I want to say there's some level where when you finish a bonus, you do get sent back before the bonus. Maybe it's this right here. Hold on, is this the same bonus? Yeah. There was one time I was playing this game at like 2 a.m. And I think I did the same bonus like three or four times. I kept dropping here and I was so tired that I was just like, oh, bonus. And then would just go and do it again and again and again. <laughs> Just good normal brain shit. Just just good the holes in my brain are fine. Don't even worry about it. Now stop me if you've heard this one before. This is a fucking good song. I think every song in this game is good. I can't think of a single one that I wouldn't like listen to in my car. Or like listen to outside of playing the game, which uh, a lot of video game music I don't fucking listen to outside of playing the game. Not because it's bad, but um, it's either not that good or it's like, I don't want to be caught dead. Uh, sorry, I would rather listen to other music, please. I would not be caught dead. Uh, I'm not one of those like gamers that are like video games are my entire life. I only listen to video game music and read video game lore books. Um, I'm not that kind of gamer. I think, uh, I don't know. Diversify your interest, please. Um, but this soundtrack, I would listen to outside of the game because it's fucking good.
Even if it's a little weird to listen to the soundtrack with chimp noises. <laughs> you just you're on like a three hour road trip with someone who's never played this game before. You're putting on the music, they're like, damn, this is pretty good. Yep. Yep, yeah, it is. Like three hours in, they start hearing chimp noise. What it what is this from? Why are they using chimps as instruments? It's art. It's art, Becky. You wouldn't understand. That's why I don't listen to video game music. <laughs> Outside of video games, usually. Because, uh, you know, you'll be listening to, uh, you know, goddamn... Uh, listen to cool, cool video game tunes. And then, like, a Sonic the Hedgehog song will come on. And they'll go, is it... Is it... What is this? Uh, this is a song from... This is the theme song to Sonic Heroes. Why? Because it's art, Becky. God damn it. Parents just don't understand. Fuck. Tonight, tonight rules. This rules, dude. <laughs> this is some good, like... You get a good glimpse into who's ride or die. And the answer is, um... <laughs> I don't think many are. <laughs> And that rules, man. That's so good. <laughs> if you can't fuck with me at my Squitters Spider Quest, uh, you don't deserve me at my uh, um, cum jokes. <laughs> if you can't fuck with me when I'm having a great time and doing a bit I think is funny, uh, you don't get the low effort, low hanging fruit bits anymore. Bye bye. <laughs> Just goes to show that, uh, you know, some people claim to be fans of Squitter. Some people claim to be uh, part of the Squitter squad, and yet when push comes to shove and uh, Squitter's back is against the wall. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Silence. Much to ponder. When Squitter is cleared of all charges and he invites me to be his friend, I'll remember who the real ones were. I'll remember who was and wasn't here tonight. I think this is the run. I think I got it this time. I'll be honest, the stage is a lot easier when you can jump on enemies. Fuck. Well, that wouldn't have helped me anyways, would it? All right. <laughs> Hold on, we're doing this squitter style. Instead of trying to conform squitter to the level, let's turn the level to squitter. Oh. I. Which way am I supposed to be going? I, I thought I'm supposed to be going left. I think yeah i think i fucked up the level geometry i think i think i skipped a camera trigger Don't, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. Can I finish this level? Many are wondering. Yeah, I can't watch this. Stop trying to play by the rules. You're Squitter the Spider. Break the rules. Break the world. Oh, don't. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Uh, how the fuck? How do you do this without being able to jump on their heads? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> kind of shot that too high. Oh, fuck, that scared me. You dickhead. I didn't think he was going to fly that low. All right, new squitter strat. Watch this. Over. Easy. Watch this. We got pro squitter gameplay. We've got gameplay so crazy. Many are saying footage doctor could be. Many are wondering could be. Thank you, Ong. Next. How the hell am I gonna do this with Squitter? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. How the fuck do I do this with Squitter? I guess just like, yeah, invincibility. Fuck it, invincibility, go. Uh, get me out of here. Oh, Jesus. I think, I don't remember the invincibility being here in the normal game. I think this was added specifically so you could finish the stage as Squitter. Oh, Jesus. Might be wrong. Maybe the, the seals aren't introduced? Oh, shit. Please! Maybe the seals are introduced later? I don't think so. I think they replaced the seals with invincibility. Which is fine. I mean, I again, I didn't. I was like, ah, uh, this might be it. I don't know if I can beat the level as Squitter, but uh, you can with the invincibility. You just got to be fast with it. You just got to be slick with it. Big Squitter style. I'm going to get hurt. Many in the business are wondering, how can one such man have so much swag? Easy. Squitter. <laughs> you can tell I got lost there for a second. You can tell mentally I checked out on the punchline to that one. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs>
I think this is one of my favorite streams I've ever done. <laughs> Legitimately. It, it's rules, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> Uh, what the heck? Uh, oh, duh, duh, dumb, dumb. I hope there's a special game over if you game over with Squitter. <laughs> I hope the screen, you remember, it, like, you know how, like, people think the game over screens for this game are creepy I hope that it's legitimately creepy I hope it's like squitter well we're gonna find out aren't we I hope it's like squitter like making a rope <laughs> web <laughs> and holding the rope <laughs> now that'd be cool <laughs> gaming is finally mature <laughs> Gaming's first mature icon, Squitter the Spider. <laughs> Holy shit. This game proves that video games aren't just for kids. I don't know if I can finish the stage. <laughs> I legitimately don't know if it's possible. I might just not be good enough at Squitter. What if I just don't pick that barrel up? Can I just do that? Just not bring the, the lava up? Oh, uh, yeah! Uh-oh. Fuck. I think I just need to be faster. Hold on, I'm locked in now. Hold on, I oct high octane squitter gameplay activate. Okay. Fuck. No, we're good. We're good. We're not good. Oh, uh, we cannot recover from that. get a game over aren't we okay hold on we're maximizing the squitter jumps which is good Go. Please. Ow. Oh, oh, please. Scooter. Oh my God, that was terrifying. be able to actually do this one. this one may actually be possible holy shit many are impressed okay no more lava you dumb ass Oh, he didn't get it. It wasn't a checkpoint, was it? Fuck, fuck. Okay, we did it once. You dumb ass. 
We did it once, we can do it again. We did it once, we can do it again. Did it once, we can do it again. Did it once, we can do it again. Okay. Did it once. Please, for the love of God, do it again. We're good. I am squitter, not a fucking kit quitter. <laughs> I, okay, that's fine. That's gonna come back to bite me in the ass, but that's fine. Where do I go? Oh, this is some fucking ass. On a squitter, not a fucking quitter. <laughs> oh, I missed the jump. Last one. Uh oh. <laughs> Is this the end of Squitter's Spider Quest? Be. Okay. Wrong. That was a throw. I just fucking threw accidentally. Yep, they were cooked. Much like Squitter. Oh. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he live? How did he survive? What the hell? <laughs> if I just didn't jump, Squitter could have lived a life under the water, under the lava. Yeah, see this? You see this game over screen? Yeah, they gotta fix this. It needs to be Squitter, rope, <laughs> licking you, looks the player in the eyes, and <laughs> goes, help me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, that didn't save, did it? At no point did I save, did I? No. That is the end of Squitter Spider Quest. His Spider Quest has ended, man. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, Squitter. The poor boy cooked alive. All right, chat. Uh, that's the end of Squitter Spider Quest. I am getting reports. Hold on. Hold on. Checking my, my Squitter Google Plus group. Uh, it looks like Squitter, uh, was roasted alive, uh, found guilty, death by, uh, fire. So pretty, uh, pretty apropos that that's where his spider quest ends, sad day. Okay, that's the end of Squitter's spider quest, uh. Let's um let's play some Tekken 8. Let's do some Tekken 8.
Uh, I'm going to take a quick pee break, and then when I come back, we'll do Tekken 8. Does that sound good? Okay. VOD watchers, head on over to the Tekken 8 VOD. That's going to show up probably right around now. And um, see where the rest of the stream goes. Live viewers, stick around. I'll be right back. <laughs> 